Now that we're in the middle of January, I thought I'd do um, an update on how my poinsettia is faring. Um, this year I wanted to do monthly updates so that if you're at home with a pretty poinsettia plant, you can subscribe and then we can get our plants all red and ready for next Christmas together. I thought that'd be really fun. Um, as you can see, this one is still looking nice and red. The little yellow flowers are still slowly flowering um, and, and blooming. But there's quite a bit of yellowing on the leaves and things, so I think I have to give him some, some salt soon. Usually I give that around February, March time when I look at having giving him a little bit of a trim as well. So we'll see how that goes. I'll keep on watering him because he still needs lots of water. And as we're keeping the soil so moist, we're also attracting some little flies down there. I'm not sure if you can see some. There's not too many of them, but they are flying about being little pesky things. And so a really good tip to get rid of them, because we can't dry the soil out, which is what you need to do to prevent them from coming in and laying eggs. We need to keep it moist for the plant. But you can get a hold of some really good quality cinnamon, Ceylon cinnamon. I, um, I just decanted some into this jar and I need to get some more soon, I'm running out. But all you have to do is take some of this and what we do is we actually just sprinkle it onto the soil and that has all kinds of really goodness inside it. If you do buy a really cheap version, because there's so many cheap ones, this is more of a, a good quality one, but if you buy some cheaper ones, it might not have the right bits in it to get rid of these little pesky guys. But this Ceylon one is supposed to be good quality and it actually does work. So just sprinkle it all around in the soil and they should go away. I'm going to use it in my greenhouse too. So that is a brilliant way to get rid of these really annoying little, little flying bugs that can kind of hurt the plant. So that's my tip for this month. Hope your plants are looking healthy and healthy too. See you in February.